How is everybody doing today? Hopefully, awesome. What I wanted to talk about today was I was looking into some of this, uh, the jet fuel hoax stuff. I've been seeing some stuff, you know, come up for a while and looking, never looked at it, it just didn't seem possible or, you know, just another something crazy. But come to find out, it's looking pretty much like that a lot of these planes that are flying around, the jumbo jets, real big ones, and the fighter jets and all that, there is no fuel. They're using these turbines that are, they operate with compressed air. And they take the, I mean, the air comes in the front of the engine and the engine then compresses the air and then to a very, uh, it gets really hot and then that combusts and that comes out of the back of the engine. What you see is like fire and stuff, you know, when you <clears throat> totally no fuel at all perpetual free energy because I guess some of the power plants are using these kind of turbines and stuff and uh, look at the stuff that's being hid from everybody now that how I started thinking about the planes because you know you see people say well they go up I've seen them fuel put fuel in them when I'm sitting on them before waiting to take off and yeah, they have like a whole little program they must go through, but it's all lies. Check this out. For as much weight in fuel, and they say it all goes into the wings. <clears throat> These wings are not heavy duty. You know, they're not made out of, <laughs> they're made out of the lightest things that they can get, you know. And uh, So the weight of the fuel on one of these wings, it's like 215 tons of fuel. And uh, so I don't know if any of you guys have ever been around construction work or anything like that where you're around cranes, but I have. And I've never been on a job that you're doing a 200 and 15 ton lift i mean it ain't too often that you got to get them kind of cranes out to do something like that because they're huge and uh so that would just be how bit you'd have to have a crane like that to hold the weight up so you got this wing it's like 120 feet long sticking out with no support under it nothing and it's straight straight out from the airplane now these cranes that can lift, you know, two or three hundred tons, they're not doing it with their boom laying vertical. They're doing it with their boom almost straight up in the air. And look at how heavy duty them cranes are. So, and to put that into, look at the weight, 215 tons or so. Um, A blue whale, full groom blue whale. I remember reading, they get up to 150 tons. So that would be like having a blue whale on each wing plus more weight added. It just doesn't even, it's not even realistic. These, they, these wings, they have a bunch of hydraulics in them and wires and you know, they got the flaps and there's no, there's no fuel. These, pla these planes are flying around on technology that they just have kept from us and they're charging everybody for <laughs> stuff that's for free. So it's, I'll be, you know, it's fun looking into that kind of stuff, learning the truth. Jesus says the truth will set you free. I think in John 15, 15, well, I know it does. He talks about how he doesn't consider us slaves anymore. 
because slaves don't know what their masters are doing and because he's he tells us everything that he knows about the truth and guiding us in the truth that uh he calls us friends now he says you're a friend of jesus because he no longer considers us slaves because we know what's going on so just look into it. It's just so incredibly impossible for them wings to hold the kind of weight they do. And it's just all made up fake, fake stuff that they tell us. Things are going to, all this stuff is going to seriously come out big time in a huge way in the future. Things are going <laughs> to, there's something big coming up anyways. You can feel that. Not because of the jet engines, but just whenever the 23rd rolls around, I always just get a little bit just because I see that number all the time. But yeah, seriously, between like now and April 18th, watch for something. Okay, well, before this gets too long, I guess I'll like, let you guys go. Uh, I'll see you. Love you. Bye.